Hey guys, I'm Ryan with the Talos Tech Team and I'm here with the T60X and I'm here to show you how to fly in manual plus mode. All right, so now we have the drone turned on, remote turned on, and pretty much you're gonna be starting on this home screen after you press begin. Obstacle bypassing right now we're already in manual mode, but typically you start in route mode. So in the top left, you'll see the kind of squiggly line with an arrow. You'll just tap that and you'll move over to manual mode. And by default, it'll go to the regular manual mode, but now we want to go to manual plus. So it's the next tab over. Now in manual plus mode, it's basically assisted flying. So here you can set your gallons per acre, your spray rate, uh, droplet size. You can, now this is where the difference between manual and manual plus mode is. So in manual plus mode, you can set the max speed for the drone and set the height and set the specific route spacing for the routes you want to take. So pretty much, let's just set this to 4.9. Let's set it to, let's say 10. And we'll go 15. And then height above crops, we can keep that at 15. So the main difference between the manual plus and manual mode is with manual mode, it's basically the user has the entire control over the drone. Um, in manual plus mode, it's, as I said before, it's assisted flying. So when you are spraying in manual versus manual plus, manual mode, you're not gonna be able to have a consistent spray, spray swath because that is dependent on how high you are flying above the crops. In manual plus mode, you can maintain that same altitude so you can have a much more consistent spray swath and have much more consistent coverage over your crops. So now, moving over to the flight tab, you can set the scenario to flatland, orchard, or above water. And let's say for here, it's pretty hilly, so we can go orchard. And then this is where you would set your return to home speed. This is a little high, so let's lower that to 30. And the altitude. So this is the altitude above the ground. Right now we have it set to 23, and then your obstacle avoidance. Now, to start, the controls are typically Typically the remote starts, or by default is in manual or mode two. So that's the mode that pretty much any North American um, drone model uh, with the Talos T60X uses. Um, but it's basically on preference. So you can do mode one or two, or one, two, or three, but we can stick with mode two for now. So on the left stick, that'll be up to ascend, down to ascend, descend. Uh, to turn left, move the stick left, turn right, move the stick right, and then to move the drone, it's gonna be on the right stick. So right stick, push up to move forward, backward to move back, and then left to move left, right to move right. Your drone first needs to be flying. So we're gonna start by pushing the sticks down and in to start the drone. So now, on I'm going to take the drone up. So now to begin manual plus mode, in the bottom right, you'll see the start button. You'll just press that, and that begins manual plus mode. So in this mode, as I said before, it's essentially assisted controls. So for example, since we are in manual plus mode, when I move the stick forward, the drone will begin spraying. And it's when you move the stick forward, left, right, the drone will begin spraying. But when you move the stick backwards, it'll begin, it'll stop spraying. As you can see there. Now, when you're in this mode, you can see the drone is locked into that 10 feet per second, I believe I set it to. You can just double check here. 15 feet per second speed. So no matter how far I push the stick up, it'll only go 15 feet per second. And if you want to change that, you can simply just go back into the remote controls right here. The settings will be pretty much viewable at any time. You'll just have to click the left little arrow right here 
and it'll bring up the settings and you can adjust this at any time. You can adjust your application rate, your speed, your height, anything, whenever you feel. So we can keep that consistent movement. And now, if you want to stay on the crop line, let's say you're kind of just eyeballing where your uh, field lines are and you want to do another cover, uh, there on the right side, you'll see the U-turn button. You can just press that and the drone will U-turn by itself and maintain that line that it's on. And then all you have to do is push forward. Yeah, let's say you want to move on to another line. There's a orange arrow pointing to the left and a blue arrow pointing to the right. That is basically to shift lines. So let's say there's multiple crop rows and I want to move on to the next row. And I've been following one specifically perfectly fine. If I want to move on to the next one, I just press the, let's say I want to move to the left. I press the orange arrow and the drone will adjust itself and move over. Or if I want to go to the right, move the right arrow. On here you can see, kind of hovering over your drone, there is a blue, cir blue and orange circle that tells you which direction it's going to shift to. And then above those arrows, there's a U-turn button. So let's say you are spraying your crop and you are moving forward. And now you want to do another row. You basically want to do another spray over on that row. There is a U-turn button that you can just press and the drone will U-turn itself. And there's also a course lock button. So when you press that, it'll activate and lock the drone in basically in the direction that it's moving to. So now the drone will consistently fly in this direction. However, if I push the other sticks, it'll maintain this direction. You can move it left or right, but I can't turn the drone. And you'll see you can get this error. So let's unlock that. So now let's say you get to the end of the row. As I was saying earlier with the orange and blue arrows, if I want to go to the row, let's say, looking at this circle on the, on the drone, on the map, let's say I want to turn to where the orange is, in the direction of the orange. I'll tap the, I'll attach the orange arrow, and it'll turn to move on to that next row, rotating at that arrow. And then, basically, you just press forward and keep moving forward. So now I want to do another run through on the next row and now it's in blue. So I press the blue arrow and now the drone will shift over to the next row on the axis of the direction of the blue. And now if you want to return to home, you just press and hold the return to home button. The return to home button. It'll pause Return your task. To home. Return the drone home. And there you go. Now, once you're on this screen, it'll give you a summary of what you just flew. And you can kind of see like the path that you were taking before. And if you want to resume, let's say you just need only temporary pause. Let's say you want to refill or change the battery. You can just click resume after and then it'll continue on again. Or for right now, since we're done, we can just press end. Task complete. And that is pretty much it. So we covered 0.58 acres and sprayed about almost three gallons. All right, I'm Ryan with the Talus Tech team. Again, I'm here with the Talus T60X and that is how you fly in manual plus mode.